So in this video, we're going to find the number of electrons for elements and then for ions. The key piece of information you need to know, the atomic number, that's the number above the element symbol. It increases by one as you go across the periods here. That equals the number of protons. But see, all of these elements here on the periodic table, they're neutral. They don't have a plus or a minus written after them. So they're neutral. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. So you just look here on the periodic table, find the atomic number. That's the number of total electrons for the element. Oxygen has eight, fluorine has nine. How about bromine, 35, xenon, 54. That's how you find the number of electrons for elements. But what about ions? They're a bit different. So say you're given a positive ion like sodium, Na+. How many total electrons? Well, you know that you have 11 protons and 11 electrons for just sodium. But if we have that plus after it, we remove one electron. So instead of having 11, we have 10. Sodium has 10 total electrons. Try this one. What about calcium here? Calcium's in group two, so it forms ions that are two plus. How many total electrons do we have in calcium and then the calcium ion? So for just calcium, neutral calcium, we have 20. But because we have a two plus and it's positive, we've lost two. So calcium ion, the calcium ion, only has 18 electrons whereas calcium itself, that had 20. All right, what about these negative ions? So elements in group 17 here, all of these form ions that are one minus. Group 16, two minus. And then group 15, three minus. So let's look at something like oxygen. If we have oxygen, neutral oxygen, and then the ion, the oxide ion. Give that one a try. So we said oxygen, atomic number eight, eight protons, and then eight electrons for the neutral oxygen. But here, when it's two minus, that means we got two more. So eight plus two, 10 total electrons in the oxide ion. All right, now you try one. We have nitrogen here, and then the nitride ion. How many electrons for nitrogen, neutral nitrogen, and then the nitride ion? Give that a try. And then seven plus three, that gives us 10 there as well, just like oxygen. And that's really it. If you have positive ions, you take away electrons. If you have negative ions, you add electrons. And that makes sense. Electrons are negative, so we would add them. That's it. That's how you find the number of electrons for atoms and ions. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.